Now to a story you will only see right here on Fox 35 tonight. A family is devastated after police say their loved one was brutally killed by his neighbors. They're now sharing new details behind the 68 year old victim's murder exclusively with Fox 35's Valerie Boy. Well, the family of a senior citizen who was beaten to death on Thanksgiving Day say they're still in shock over his murder. This is 68 year old Kenneth Ellsworth. His brother, who asked not to show his face, says Kenneth took care of some neighborhood cats and was worried about his neighbor's dogs attacking them after one of them got loose. And he said, Hey, y'all need to put your, he used a few explicit words, you know, put your dogs on, on a leash. And that's what instigated the whole thing. According to the arrest report, 22 year old Tawana Williams and her juvenile sister beat Kenneth to death at the Colonial Apartments. Williams claims the 68 year old hit her first during the argument. Witnesses say Kenneth was sitting on the ground with his hands over his head, yelling, Call the police as they continued beating him. I just picture my brother on balled up in a fetal position, praying to God, please quit, please quit, quit beating me. Somebody help me. He says his brother used a walker and wheelchair due to heart issues. The suspects told deputies that they had kickboxing training. Two healthy girls with kickboxing training. You know, a 68 year old handicapped man. There's just no sense in it to me at all. According to investigators, the girl's mother told deputies that she was yelling out a window for her daughters to stop fighting. But Kenneth's nephew says, I think there was a lot more she could have done to stop it before it got to where it did. They say Kenneth was a very smart person who retired from Lockheed Martin. He loved art and photography. Now his family mourns his loss and prays for justice. It was cold. It was heartless. You know, it was just it wasn't right. And both Williams and her sister are charged with murder. In Orange County, Valerie Boy, Fox 35 News.